Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about India's Defense Acquisition Council or DAC has cleared the purchase of 12 additional SU-30 MKI heavyweight air superiority multi-role fighter jet from Russia. This would certainly give an additional boost to the already formidable Indian Air Force. The SU-30 MKI is one of the most capable fighter on the Indian Air Force. The SU-30 MKI is developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau from Russia, but 60% of the ordered SU-30 by India would be produced locally under license and the 40% would be kits delivered by Russia and it would be assembled in India. The newer SU-30 MKI would be the most modern SU-30 in the India Air Force and it would be equipped with multiple Indian weapons and sensors. The SU-30 is one of the most heavily used twin-engine fighter from different air force in the world. Currently, there are around 270 in service. The SU-30 MKI, which entered service in 2002, is the backbone of the Indian Air Force. Currently, it operates 11 Squadron and with additional one more in the future through this current acquisition. The SU-30 is an improved derivative of the original SU-27 flanker. The SU-30 is considered as one of the most capable fighters in the world and one of the first fighter to integrate thrust vectoring engines. Although the initial SU-30 MKI manufactured in India at first was produced with lower efficiency due to inferior manufacturing quality compared to the airframes built in Russia and the aircrafts produced in India was almost twice more expensive but it was a huge step for India to improve its technical knowledge in the aviation industry manufacturing. The SU-30 MKI produced is also heavily customized and it features advanced technology incorporated from cancelled SU-27M and the SU-37 air superiority fighter due to expensive cost. The Indian SU-30 MKI also featured the SU-35 canards the NO-11M electronically scanned array radar and the L-31 FB thrust vectoring engines. Its success lead to the development of SU-30 MKA and SU-30 SM variants being imported to Algeria. India is not the only country that locally produced SU-30 aircrafts. They are also locally licensed and produced in Myanmar, Belarus, Algeria and to other new clients. India, knowing that they are well behind in terms on ASA radar technology by the United States and China used on their fighters, India is also developing a new ASA radars for their fighters. The Indian Su-30 MKI has been upgraded to integrate newer missile and improve its capabilities, like the integration of the Brahmos cruise missile which is jointly developed by Russia and India under considerable technology transfer from Russia Tech Industry. We should also expect integration of newer Russian R-77M developed for the Su-57 5th generation fighter and the newer very long range R-37M variant. The aircraft is a crew of two and it boasts a maximum takeoff weight of 34,500 kilograms, 17,000 kilograms of bombs, maximum speed of 2,120 kilometers per hour, service ceiling of 58,000 feet, and maximum range of 3,000 kilometers. Now the last question of would be, how would the American perceive this? Normally, we should expect American sanctions against any country that buys Russian-made weapon. But I expect the United States would just look over this and wouldn't sanction India. The US openly admitted that they wouldn't sanction India when they purchased the S-400 air defense system from Russia in 2021. I believe the U.S. wouldn't undermine their slowly growing friendly ties with India. The United States wanted to break Russia and India's long-term close alliance and they also need India's help to check China's growing military might in the region. They just recently convinced India to join the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue or Quad between the United States, Australia and Japan which is seen as an alliance to check China in the Asian region. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.